Well, hey there team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Reshaping Mars. Oh, I've been itching to play this again, because, well, it's awesome. I really, I really wish I could use Wazda. Uh, I don't think it... Well, actually, no, I was going to say I don't think it has shortcuts, but there you go. These, well, they're not Wazda, but they're something. Okay, stop saying Wazda. Alright, population has to reach up. Aid production. Can I pause while I... Oh my god, this music gets me excited. I need this when I go walking down the street to the servo or the milk bar or something. To make, make life exciting. Uh, research drone assisted yet. Yeah, no, we're working on that currently. Deploy drone, hire worker. Okay, so essentially our, our end in this is that we want to get research going. We also want to get that population up. We can't really... It looks like... Like, people must be breeding on a slow level because we, we didn't have those two. We had one at the end of the last episode. So, um, I think maybe we just look into scaling up our research. Am I already building a second research facility? Why am I struggling at the moment? I could have sworn I had... There it is up there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, build it. Let's bloody put an observatory up. Oh, look, there's another one up there. And then, uh... So Sharon's finished surveying, and that's good. That's actually really good. Um, we're going to shift click. You know what? You do that. We'll just... Can I drag? I can't drag. Oh, and then I let go of shift. Okay, whatever. That's going to keep her bloody busy. Um, it's the F keys that speed me up, isn't it? Yeah, quickest. Okay, cool. All right, now, supply packs from Earth, looking good. We were sort of musing about the, uh, the not quite. A commenter suggested that maybe when when Shazier scans a certain area, maybe it's tied to the thing at the top. See, now that came up before she that she finished stand up comedy. What is this? Stand up comedian from Terra brings an exciting performance with jokes inspired by Mars. The audience temporarily forgets about the hardships of developing new land. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Quiet influence. Hope, daily change, plus 0.1 for 60 days. Yeah, see, I, I mean, I guess it adds something, these little bits of flavor text, but I don't seem to have any power over any of this crap happening and it's adding 0.1 to my hope change like it seems like the most redundant thing to have in the game it's very strange i feel like maybe you could implement that but through a different mechanic altogether actually like we were saying tie it to the squares that you're surveying or something yeah yeah i don't want to whinge about something without offering a suggestion but it just seems like I, yeah, like it just seems redundant. That's sort of my point. It's it it's not really contributing anything other than giving us little bits of lore. I don't know. Maybe just give us lore drops when we build certain things or as story beats. That might be better, to be honest. Right, right. All right. I'm now, listening. Andrew, what are you doing, mate? We're gonna build an observatory. Oh, look at that! It's like a hybrid square. Very cool. Cool beans. All right, now, am I at max chickens for population? 300, 300, okay. More housing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, ah, shit. Mate. Can I veer you off and get you to build a new mod shelter? There you go, that one's perfect right there. Yeah, 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 I know, mate. Tell me about it. The music sort of overpowers the in-game voices a little bit. Exploration compete. Yep, she's going for it. Good work. Now, what's this? I'm about to vomit from having to eat this stuff every day. Disgusting food. Improvement. Use ingredients. Remove... Okay, so I can remove 50 food. I can afford that. I don't mind that, having to pay a premium to mitigate disasters, but like, again, it's a bit of a hard cop to just inflict this shit randomly upon the player. They have no power over it other than to just dump resources into making it go away. You know, it, it's that's a bit rich, so well, bad luck. These things are happening to you and you can't do anything about it. Oops. Drone-assisted production. 
Deploy drones at production buildings. Increase efficiency. Now we also want to do this manpower assisted production. Okay, so, so, so. Deploy drones at buildings. Drones. Assemble. Okay, so there are some specific buildings that we can... Civilian Factory takes it as well. I guess we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Uh, food, we, we could probably afford to grow food a bit better. What's going on with power? How do we generate power? It's from that. Construction complete. Work. Can we create energy plant? I don't believe we have even one of those. Oh, look at this. Looky, looky loo. All right, well, let's get that going. Oh, that's worked out very well as well. Look at that, because a group of immigrants are here. Yeah, welcome to Mars. Come aboard, come aboard. Oh, now we're getting stretched a little bit. Okay, cool. Uh, water plant. I'm going to have to start memorizing what these bloody buildings look like, right? They're little farms. Water extractor. What does that even look like? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I, I thought that was like a vehicle in the way. No. It's got the... Uh, oh, God, why does the name escape me right now? Anyway. Um, the Derek, right? Okay. So they... The, okay, they just instant build, so that's cool. We are spending some money now. It's full. Uh, water's in the black, so that's good. Food, however. Okay, it's, it takes a moment to kick in. The project to reshape Mars is the result of the combined efforts of Terra, having gathered wealth and the best of uh, the best of the best from all around the world. We've managed to achieve the results we have today. Okay. However, this project has expended a large amount of manpower and financial resources. United Terran Aerospace Agency expenses remain high yearly. In the past few years, government of leading nations have utilized a large amount of financial instruments to allow for the exploration of Mars using future wealth. Okay, where's this going? Finances are a complete mess, and during an ordinary financial conference, a report riddled with problems publicized by the media. Oh, no. It was probably a trigger which immediately set off the collapse of global financial system. Oh, okay. Declining economy. Uh, uh, situation on terror is not looking very good. Hope is declining. Okay, okay. That's, uh, that's a bit of a story beat. I like that. I mean, I don't like that. We don't want that happening. All right, well, let's get this power facility built for starters. Construction complete. All right, that's good. And food levels are low. Now, people are going to starve. That's not good. Don't put that on me, game. Okay, cool. Yeah, because so far we haven't really had the strain of minerals put upon us. Now, what does it cost to build a mining base? A hundred bucks, and I don't have it. I see, I see. So I've made a boo-boo. Survey -boo. complete. Dust devil. Dust devils are common, and even though wind speeds can go up to 100 kilometers an hour, the air pressure of these are so low that they are harmless and could even be used to clean up our electricity generators. Oh. Dust devil energy production increase. Okay. I'll take it. One, please. All right, so we just need to save up some minerals. Yeah, because I was wondering, we hadn't been incentivized to actually build mineral extractors up to this point because... It doesn't seem to be a uh, an ongoing cost, like a tax even, like all the other metrics are. But now we found that we just spend everything because I'm an idiot. Supply packs from Earth have arrived. These, oh, oh yeah, oh, I spare 100. Bloody read my mind. Where'd my little car go? I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Uh, mining base. Four. Eight. I see an eight. Let's go. Right. Let's get that on. Let's go. Sharon's still going. Complete. Sucking up all the power. More housing. Well, how's this going? That's got 
Population plus one after 908 a day. After th okay, that's confusing, but that's fine. But now what did you just build? A mining thing. Honestly, we need to heavily invest in mining. We should probably try and clear this food problem. Actually, that's going to be our focus for the moment. Just build up drones. Right. Okay, cool. So we're back in the black. Very cool. We'll save up some money. Loss of pressure in hazmat suit. While a resident was out for a walk, he suddenly collapsed and died. Oh my god, that's the end of him. Um, the investigations show that the cause was the improper usage of the pressure stabilizing unit in the suit. This resulted in the pressure reducing while he was outdoors, which led to his blood vessels bursting and his eventual death. Oh, that's savage. What? Minus one population, unacceptable. Um, hope minus five. We should do something to prevent incidents from happening again. Research I don't think we can. Manpower assisted production combines some manual jobs and increases production efficiency. Production buildings can hire workers within the administrative range. Okay. Well, there we go. Deploy drones, hire workers. We might as well queue up the next uh, bloody thing. I don't know. What's this one here? Basic engineering. That one will do. Oh, this music. No, no, you just stay right there, mate. Um, how do I go about hiring people? Within the administrative range. Um, oh, what is this? Unit selection building. Oh, oh, look at this. And we can see the outputs of each building as well. Mod shelter. Oh. Oh, wow, this is a really helpful widget right there. Um, let's see. Drones. Oh, workers. It's uh, it's in the center. Hire one workers. Oh, do I have to pay that? Hire two workers. Dude, let's go. Survey complete. I don't see that changing. How I wonder how this is gonna affect my efficiency in this mining base. Let's go, let's go to full fifty, two fifty. There's my consumer goods there. Survey complete. Supply pack arrived. Nice. Let's put drones into it. I'm really confused what that consumer good thing is telling me. Because it's not going down. Food? What's going on there? We've got a food problem now? How did that happen? Um... Workers zero out of 50. Oh, I have to press the button. Target must be a residential area. Oh. Okay. 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 So do I have that overlay no matter where I click? Sort of. Okay. Okay. So how many consumer goods we got? 180? Let's go 180. Hire 36 workers from there. Nice. Nice. Every once in a while, the residents will hold a banquet of their own accord. While the dishes are all made with spuds, this does nothing to diminish their enthusiasm for the event. Ah, oh, wonderful. Hope's gone up. Okay. God, you love to see it. So this mining base is now plus 4.32. Nice. Assemble some drones as well. Look at that. 
Okay, so it has a hope and a health score now. Now that I put humans into it. Ah, that's quite interesting. Okay, we need to deal with this food problem. What is going on? Assemble drones. Survey complete. Assemble drones. There we go, laughing. Laughing, laughing. Hire 36 workers. Right, so we're going to want to get some more consumer goods going. This is really cool, man. Casual at first. You know, casual looking. But uh, quite a bit of nuance to it. Give me more money. Prolonged solar radiation has caused our machines to stop working. Not what I was going for. Uh, let's restart the machines with that energy. Oh. Survey complete. Okay. Supply pack, let's go, baby. All right, let's get another civilian factory going. Uh, oh, bugger me. Maybe we put it there. Off you go, big dog. Permafrost, land formation has many evenly formed sides. And as a result of repeated instance of the permafrost melting and refreezing, this would be a valuable source of water normally. Water production plus four permanent. See, I don't understand where that applies. Like to here? 2.96 to a certain square. It's this square here. Okay. 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 Maybe it's just a little narrative text thing for each square as you get it. Permafrost permanent. Oh, there we go. We've gotten to the bottom of it. Group of immigrants want to want to join. Yeah, welcome to Mars. We need more people. Always need more people. Food situation's a little bit grim. Construction complete. Um, dude, I am struggling on consumer goods, aren't I? Uh. How you going building down there? You've built the civilian factory, so that's I'm cool. Work here. What we really need is more hydroponics. Survey complete. Work, work. Research complete. Basic engineering unlocks the following engineering tech. Unlock building R and D station. Right. Food processing unlocks potato bread. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> I can't put a positive spin on it, my little Martians. Stand up comedian. Ah, oh, there we go. Sin and bloody. Dave Hughes out. Hope drops significantly. Construction complete. Uh, we need water. Um, yeah, I wonder if we can get to a point where we build more cars. On it. Supply drop. Let's go. Survey complete. Disgusting food. Oh, I'll pay the premium. Let's go. Construction complete. All right, we're laughing now. All right, what can we build? I think mining base is the move. Survey complete. Six. Six. Oh, and there's research on that as well. Let's go here. On it. I'd probably rather put the research station on it. The minerals are a helpful little thing. Construction complete. Financial collapse swept through the world like a tsunami. Every day there would be news of well-known companies declaring bankruptcy and some smaller countries that had not prepared themselves for this were no exception. <laughs> this writing has a charm to it, man, even though it's such a mess. 
Finally, when affirmed that it had been the pioneer in the domain of aerospace trade, two declared bankruptcy, the governments of leading nations could no longer watch on from the sidelines. This is probably not a good time to build the Martian base. We need to take care of our people, the citizens of our countries. During a global speech, the head of one of the leading nations brought up a number of tariffs with the purpose of protecting the wealth of the country. Oh. Immediately after that, many countries followed suit and the area of international free trade came to an end. Countries became began establishing tariff barriers. Oh my goodness, this game's getting quite geopolitical, isn't it? For a Mars game? Not long after, when the last batch of multinational trading companies collapsed, the global economy reverted to the state of rampant competition. Oh, delicious. Right where we want it. No, not long after, when the last batch of multinational trading companies collapsed, the global economy reverted to, uh, to a state of rampant competition. Yes, yes. To make things worse. Premonition. Okay. Okay. Why am I getting docked for energy? Like, is that a in-world thing? Seems Sharon's finished. Standing by. Standing by. I have arrived. No. To the destination. Um. Scan in progress. Proceeding as planned. Proceeding as planned. Proceeding as planned. Let's just queue them all orders. up, right? Executing orders. Keep Executing her busy. Orders. Proceeding as planned. Can I move the cat? I can. Proceeding as planned. Proceeding as planned. Executing what do you reckon? You, what do you reckon you doing? You proceeding as planned? As planned. Executing order. Oh, you can execute Stand orders. Okay. Arabia Terra. Terra Sabia. Executing orders. Executing orders. Executing orders. Might be an easy way to do that. Um, where's my other little car going? Mate, we need power and we need it stat. Because Shaz is going to use it all up. Five. Today. Oh, look at my little colony go. Banquet. Oh yeah, no, we've had this one. Now, population's full there, so we're going to need to build Survey. a new house. Uh, permafrost. Yeah, yeah. It's just, okay. Let's just right, pause right. for a moment. Uh, mod shelter. Doing all right, just got to get that population up a bit more. Supply packs are coming. Okay, so I guess the financial collapse can't be that bad. Loss of pressure. In okay, so these are looping pretty much. Um, right, so we just built another house, so that's good. Are there any observatory spots? There are too. Well, I'm not that worried about research because I don't really know what the go is. But I think building mining bases is a very good idea. Let's build one out here. Rex be weighing a ton today. What's this? Welcome the immigrants in. Yep, cool. Straining my food reserves. Let's see what we can do about that. That's enough to do it. Homesickness. Well, everyone knows it was a one-way ticket to Mars. Some, some wish to return to their hometown, Terra. Every 10 days or so, there will be someone feeling a tightness in their throat, an ache in their chest, or even a sense of despair. Treatment to pacify them. <laughs> Treating psychological problems like these requires a large amount of time and effort. Okay, keep them busy. Ah, fair enough. Let's pay it. Construction complete. Okay. We're all square for the moment. We just... It is a little bit fiddly trying to, you know, at a glance I can't tell, like, the only way I know that these are full of population and I need more is straight up because I built this one, you know, like, I, I, I've i memorised it as opposed to, oh, look, they're getting garbage as well. I've memorised it as opposed to actually, you know, eyeballing it. Um, I'm hard at work here. Where were we? Mining base. 
pause. There's that six there, but we'll stay off that for the moment. Survey complete. Nice, nice. Look at it go! Growing away. Oh, I just got to hire more workers, don't I? Survey complete. I kind of need more uh, trade. Uh, what is it? Consumer goods. Stand-up comedy. Geez, they really love sending us bloody comedians. Just maybe they're just trying to get rid of them. Supply, yeah, let's go. Does he have to go the long way around, or did oh, did I misclick or something? Oh, that's right. You're in a good position, nonetheless. Construction complete. Hire 14 workers for 70 bucks. Let's go. How about 80? Nice. So we just got to get the population up. There is a hive of activity as drones and workers go about their day. The planet is getting lively. Yes. While there is nothing but dust and sand around, this definitely bodes well for the future. Get to work. Increase productivity. Oh, you love it. Um, yeah, I feel like... Let's build another house just in case. Survey complete. Look at her go. Oh wow, we're getting into interesting terrain there. New delivery. Welcome to new immigrants. Construction complete. That must be getting close to full. Survey complete. Yeah, so they're breeding out, they're making new people, right? Population 305 out of 100, and we've got idle dudes in there. So it keeps growing, but I don't think anyone cares that it's over full. Solar radiation, let's pay the price. Okay, cool. Can I zoom in? Have a bit of a squiz? Yeah, nice. Look at that. See some little dudes moving around. Ah, it's very cute. I love it. I, I love these low poly aesthetics that are sort of making a bit of a, I was going to say comeback, not. It's not really a comeback, but they're, you know, it's a it's an art style in this modern era of high fidelity, which is wonderful to see. All right, cool. Another episode down. I guess we're just going to keep plodding along. I'm enjoying it. I, what a, a bit of a turn with the geopolitical drama of Terra back home. But to be honest, it fits well. I'm not going to bang the drum about po politics, right? I think politics in games is fine. Politics in all media is the same as like pop culture. If there are politics of the day that are interesting, then th of course people are going to draw from their modern inspirations around them. This is the same for all literature of all time. However, if it's not being ham fisted in, that would be preferable. And this is cool. This game's not passing judgments or planting aside. It's just got some interesting geopolitical stuff going on in the background of the story. And it's, it is kind of cool. It's simulating the reading the newspaper and wondering how it's going to affect you. Because we're sitting up here on the on Mars and they're like, there's going to be tariffs. Everything's falling apart. It's like, well, that doesn't directly affect us. But indirectly, who knows? Who knows? We might get abandoned up here for the greater good of terror. And anyway, so that's good. I said I wasn't going to bang my drum and, and here I go, blasting away. But it's cool. It's it's actually, and as we've laughed at the, the, the very clear language barrier in the writing, but even with that language barrier, they've still managed to handle the general theme of the writing with nuance, which, um, you know, it's kind of a shame more companies can't do that <laughs> when they speak the first language in the first place. Uh, anyway. That's uh, just my thoughts. Let me know what you reckon, team, if you want to see some more episodes. I'd love to play this some more. Uh, otherwise, I might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.